What's going on you guys, this is Double Tech and today we'll be taking a look at the top 5 tweaks for your iPad. Now I'm currently running 5.1.1 untethered, I will be upgrading soon and these tweaks will do the same. So if you guys enjoy this video or see the new quality, you guys can see right here, it won't be in the video because I did record it earlier with my Canon EOS 300 this shot that you're seeing is taken with the canon t4i so if you guys like the ending and beginning of this video give it a big thumbs up and enough of me talking let's jump right into this video now kicking it off with the first city of tweak this one is called notapad and you can find this one in the insanely i repo for free now when you head into the settings you will be greeted with a long selection on how to customize it from text to theming it. This is a very customizable tweak in general. And on top of that, you even have more settings such as disabling it by double tapping. It will also speak the notifications to you, which is awesome as well. And if you guys wanna change the way you receive notifications, this is the way to go. New notification from the app iTunes, fake iTunes notification number one. So as you guys heard there, that is how it sounds when you receive a notification like this one as well. New notification from the app iTunes, fake iTunes notification number six. And I must say it's a pretty nifty tweak if you guys want to change the way you receive your regular stock banners. Now the second tweak I got for you guys is called Quasar and you can also find this one in the Insane AI repo for free. Now what Quasar does is it takes your multitasking trade to the next level, allowing you to interact with multiple apps on the iPad. Now I find this to be a very awesome great tweak because it takes advantage of the iPad screen allowing you to interact with each and every app which makes using apps more efficient. Now this tweak also has a couple settings such as enable, disable, lock screen boundaries, touch background to quit and also have apps to automatically go into full screen and you will have to respring after this. Now the awesome thing is say if you want a certain app to go into full screen and you don't want it to use Quasar, you can select or enable any of these and once you're done simply respring and those certain apps that you chose will automatically go into full screen saving you some time if you only want to focus on that one particular app now another awesome thing about quasar it's very customizable you can flip it either in portrait mode you can move it around anywhere on the screen that you would like to position it you can put it back into landscape and then go into full screen so overall quasar is an awesome tweak to get now the third tweak i got for you guys allows you to change your normal slide to unlock button on your lock screen to any other app now this is courtesy of zeus and you can also find this one in the insane ai repo for free now heading right into the settings of course the first option you get is to change the slideshow button to any other app that is currently on your device i'm going to be choosing twitter for this one now the second option you have is to hide the icon in which you pretty much said you can have it as the slideshow icon or have it as the original one i will use it as the slideshow so you guys can see right there it has the slideshow but it takes me to twitter so you guys can see that it's pretty buggy but it took me to twitter first time to charm and this time i'm gonna use it without the slideshow image and you guys can see that you get the twitter icon so that option pretty much depends on you now the fourth tweak i got for you guys is called ls ipad bright and you can find it in the mod my repo for free now from the name and what you're actually seeing you pretty much know what's gonna do customize your brightness on your lock screen which is pretty handy if you are mostly on your lock screen. Now heading into the settings, it just pretty much tells you about the tweak. You get no options in there. However, I do find this tweak to be very handy in many cases. Now, last but not least, the fifth city of tweak I got for you guys is called Full Force, and you can find this one in the Big Boss repo for free. Heading into the settings, it lets you know that it is compatible or enhances the tweak if you get Retina iPad. You guys might want to search that one up and get it. Now, it also allows you to enable iPhone apps that are designed for the iPhone and not the iPad, and it pretty much expands it so it uses the whole iPad iPad screen kind of making those little apps larger and of course such as Instagram which is not designed for the iPad you can do so as well so guys that's much gonna do it for my top five tweaks for your iPad the reason I did this video is because some of you guys suggested it 
on doing it with the iPad. If you guys have any other suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I will be reading the comments and I would love your feedback on this video itself and keep saying and but if you guys have any further questions for moi feel free to drop me a line on twitter slash apple tech helping as well as google plus facebook even instagram feel free to follow me there as well if you haven't that's much going to do it for this video like always you guys know me i'm apple tech see you what's going on it's me mario mario all right, yeah. iOS 5.1 point up. The top five dream board. Where did I get dream board from? All right.